system was maintained at its normal level. However, all, I repeat, all the rats in the third group, those who felt had been periodically deprived of oxygen, developed malignant growth. This work was followed up a year later, and the malignant growth remained malignant, and the normal cells remained normal. So what does this tell us? Well, many researchers now believe, by studies like this, that lack of oxygen seems to play a major role in causing cells to become malignant or cancerous. That's the key element here. It certainly affects the quality of life of the cells, at the very least. Remember, the quality of your health really is the quality of the life of your cells. So fully oxygenating your system has got to be your number one priority. And breathing effectively is certainly the place to start. The problem is that most people don't know how to breathe. Now, I got an interesting statistic for you. Did you know that one out of every three Americans now gets cancer? Pretty scary, huh? Yet, you know what's interesting? Athletes have a totally different ratio. There's only one case of cancer for every seven Americans who are considered to be athletes. Why? Well, these studies begin to give us an explanation. Athletes are giving their bloodstream its most important vital element on an ongoing basis, oxygen. Another explanation is that these athletes are stimulating their body's immune systems to work at maximum levels by stimulating the movement of lymph. In other words, again, they're firing off this internal vacuum cleaner that is cleansing the circulatory system. So the more oxygen is getting to the cells and there are less irritants in the system. Let me share with you what my research shows is the most effective way to breathe in order to cleanse your system. You should breathe in the following ratio. Inhale for one count. Hold for four counts, and then exhale for two counts. So, for example, if you inhale for four seconds, you hold for 16, and you exhale for eight. You follow me? Why am I having you exhale twice as long as you inhale? Because when you exhale, that's when you're actually eliminating toxins via your lymphatic system. Why hold four times as long? That's how you can fully oxygenate the blood and activate your lymphatic system. In addition, when you breathe, you should start deep in your abdomen, like a vacuum cleaner that's getting rid of all the toxins in the blood system. Let me ask you another question. How hungry do you usually feel after you exercise? Do you want to sit down and eat a big steak after you run four miles? We know, in fact, that people don't. Why not? Because during exercise, through healthy breathing, your body's getting exactly what it needs most. So here's the very first important key to the living health system. You must stop and take at least 10 deep breaths in the ratio I've just described at least three times a day. What's the ratio again? Inhale one, hold four, exhale two. So let's just try it. Let's have you do it. Either stand up or you can do this if you're in your car sitting down. But ideally, if you're not in your car, stand up. And here's what I want you to do. Shake your body out, get a little bit loose. Stand there for a moment. And what I'd like you to do is take a deep breath in, starting in your abdomen and breathing in through your nose. And then while we do it, we're going to count to seven as you inhale. So you're going to continue to inhale all the way up to seven. Then we're going to hold for four times that, or 28. And then we're going to have you exhale slowly through your mouth for a count of two times that, which would be 14. Now, I don't want you to strain yourself on this. If this number is too large for you in terms of inhale or holding, then go ahead and let it out. You're not to stress yourself in any way. You can start smaller and begin through a period of time to build up your lung capacity. But let's go for it. Inhale. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ah, deep breath in again. Exhale slowly. Eat your heart out, Richard Simmons. Now, how do you feel when you do that? Do you feel how the circulation is going on? If you'll do that 10 times, 10 simple breaths like that, again, the ratio is the same, the numbers can change. Inhale 1, hold 4, exhale 2. If, if you'll do that 10 times, three times a day, you cannot believe what will happen to your energy level. It will explode. Because what will happen is you'll be cleansing your bloodstream, more oxygen will get to your cells, the more oxygen is there, the healthier and the stronger they are, the more power you have as a human being. 
I'm telling you, this can unleash your power physically. Everything else we've talked about is worthless if you don't have the physical energy to use it. So take me up on a 10-day challenge. For the next 10 days, breathe like this on a consistent basis. Three times a day, 10 breaths. Would you be willing to go for it? If you do, I promise you, it'll transform the level of energy you've ever thought of having before. Thank <laughs> you.